guys, it's Megan. Today I am going to start a new series that is inspired by a lot of my friends who are doing similar things with um, Peachy and her series on stash watching before shopping. She picked the most tongue twistery name for hers. And then Faith is doing um, like a swatch compare downsize series. And I just love their videos. I have been obsessed with watching them. Every time I see a new one, I watch it immediately. And it inspired me to do a similar thing. I'm calling mine rediscovering what I own or remembering what I own. I haven't decided exactly what word is going first. Um, but I realized that a big part of my issue with purchasing is that I don't remember what I already have and um, I think a lot of us have that happen to us when we have a lot of makeup or a lot of anything and I wanted to make the title sort of broad so then it's not only for my makeup. I want to also do it for books and movies and skincare and bath products and clothes and just like everything. So um, remembering what I own, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm calling it. Um, I'm going to start with my makeup though because this morning I've been going through my makeup and um, I've already gotten rid of a few things that I knew I didn't want anymore. Um, but I'm going to start with my eyeshadows and I think I'm also going to do like blushes and stuff today. Um, and I'm liking my bangs today. I like my hair, how it looks pulled up in a ponytail. And I have a nice fun lip on, which Natasha told me she always liked to do when she had bangs um, because it just kind of dressed it up and just neutral eyes. I've been really into just like neutral eyes. So... Um, also, before we get started, I have huge, exciting project pan or like panning news. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this already. If you're not following me, follow me at Megfish8. That's also my Twitter, but I'm on Instagram more often. So this happened this morning and I couldn't even believe my eyes. So you guys know I've been working on my nude compliment color tattoo from Maybelline and this morning I was just doing my normal thing and I was like oh what's that dot at the bottom of it I hit pan like I can see through my color tattoo like if I hold it up to the light I don't know if you guys can see do you see that you can see through it I hit freaking pan on this thing and I've only been working on this for like I want to say two months maybe three but I'm thinking like two months which is really weird I didn't expect it to be that low and it I honestly thought this had way more product in it than it does but I am like so sorry I was like pointing you up there I am so freaking close now and I can't believe my eyes so I'm really excited that gives me so much more motivation to continue using up um cream shadows because now I know like I can actually do it I see my progress and that is amazing so I wanted to mention that and also if you follow me on Instagram you heard me talk about this but um yesterday while I was at work uh, this came so unexpectedly but one of my customers said my wife watches you on YouTube and I honestly didn't even know what he said at first like I I thought he said that but then I was like oh haha -ha. like I didn't know really what he said because he kind of like was talking quietly and then he said it again he was like yeah she loves watching you and um she like has seen you before but didn't want to say anything and I was like oh my god is this happening so um I am so excited that I met someone who knew who I was from this, which is really crazy, and it was really, like, I was, like, blushing and freaking out, and, um, I'm so dumb because I didn't ask him what his wife's name was, but if it was you, and if your husband saw me yesterday at work, please let me know in the comments because it was so exciting, and it's so cool that someone in my area watches me. Like, that's really really cool so um thank you so much to my viewer's husband for saying hi to me and hi to um his wife i'm so dumb that i didn't ask what her name was oh my god i'm so so sorry if it was you um but that was so freaking cool and like monumental and really unexpected like i said so um 
those were two things I had to share with you guys, the hitting pan and the being recognized. And thankfully, my best friend at work, Zuri, was like right next to me when it happened. And I was like, oh my god, I was recognized. And she's like, yay! <laughs> and obviously, it was like a huge deal for me. And she was probably like, what? She was like, why are you squealing over there? And I was like, because someone recognized me. And it was just really, really cool. So, um... Yeah, I never thought that would actually happen, but it was really awesome. So thank you again um, for my viewer's husband for coming up to me and saying hi. And um, I hope to meet your wife one day. And you're obviously watching this right now, so hi. Um, but yeah, I feel so awkward that I don't know your name. Oh my god. But I'm going to get into going through my eyeshadows. Um, I think I'm going to have to chop it into... I'm gonna do powder eyeshadows and then like creams I think or I think I'm gonna do singles palettes creams and eyeliners and then I'll do like everything else so I'll try to keep it like smaller specific sections so I'm gonna organize them and show you guys but first I'll give you an overview I guess this is my eyeshadow drawer. I used to have like three eyeshadow drawers in my, um, I have an Alex 5 drawer if you guys haven't seen it before. And this is one of the deeper drawers that I have my eyeshadows in. So I have it organized um, mostly like singles over here, palettes in the middle, um, cream shadows down here, and eyeliners. And then I also have on my vanity um, my Burberry shadows and my NARS Ondine and then my MAC palettes um, that I always have out now because I really want to focus on them this year. So I'm going to um, set all these out so we can look at them. Okay, you guys, so I have all my singles out here opened up. And then I also have my loose and my infallibles that I'll go over after we get through these. So these are all of the eyeshadows that are in this organizer over on the left side of my um, makeup, like, eyeshadow drawer, and including my Burberry shadows. So I don't have a ton. I used to have way, way, way more than this. So um, I've pretty much downsized everything that I didn't love, um, but I just need to remember what I own. So, let's start with my Burberries. So this, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do this. Let me see if I can get my tripod. Okay, so this one is a Burberry Pale Barley. This is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows, which I love, and I think I'll be able to hit pan on this this year. Also, um, Midnight Brown is so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I like can't even see what I'm doing. And that's just like a deeper brown color, and it's so gorgeous. Burberry shadows, I used to like forget what I own, but now I'm like, since I keep them out, that really helps me remember what I have. Um, this is Taupe Brown, which is a matte, and it's just like a really nice kind of grayish plummy like taupe brown and I really love that one. Okay this I had to show you guys. So the Burberry one is Rosewood and then this one is Nars Ondine and they are so similar. Like I don't know if you guys can tell but they just look so so similar to each other. So I honestly don't need both, and you guys know that Rosewood isn't even, like, one of my absolute favorite shadows, even though it's Burberry. Like, look, it's all, like, powdery and stuff. I don't know. It's, like, weird how it's not as nice as the other Burberry shadows that I have. Um, there is Rosewood, and then Ondine. Still can't believe I hit pan on that, um, but it's a very similar color and both of these are kind of like chalky but um they're similar enough that I definitely wouldn't need both they both kind of look like a bruise <laughs> on my hand um but on the eye it's just really like nice especially on Dean I really like um rosewood I'm tempted to like give away just because I don't love it as much and I wish I still like 
had my receipt or something to return it but I'm gonna try to make this work for me because it was obviously expensive and um, I like the color well enough that I would keep it but it's just not I'm not as in love with it as my other breweries so those are those then moving into my other singles um, this is Mac romp which I rarely ever use this color and it's very different from what I own it's like a really like bronzy color and I don't typically wear those but it's really nice and smooth as oh my gosh this is hard to swatch um hopefully you can see how nice and smooth that is um but it's really pretty and I need to use this more I don't know if it's because it's in a single that I forget about it or what but I really need to remember to wear it because it's really, really pretty. So, need to remember about that. This is one of my all-time favorite shadows. This is um, Urban Decay Sellout. And I've had this since I started my YouTube channel. It's the smoothest, like, butteriest highlight shade. It's so gorgeous. This is, like, really hard to swatch like this. And my hands look gross. Um... But it is so pretty. I love this in my inner corner, but I don't wear it as often as I should. But I, when I wear it, I love it. It's just a really intense inner corner highlight. But I really do love that. But I need to remember to use it. Same with this. This is Jordana Over the Taupe. Oh my god, this color, you guys. It is so similar to MAC Satin Taupe. Like, it's the best dupe that I've ever found. So this color is absolutely stunning and I think I might use it more if it was like in a MAC quad or something but I just need to remember to wear this more like it is so freaking beautiful and Sam sent this to me in like our first swap and I love it. These two um, Sephora Outrageous Prismachrome shadows I never wear but this one especially the lilac is so beautiful and I just tried to depot it so it's like falling out um but I didn't have any palettes that it would fit into but there is the swatch right here it's this beautiful like it's like a unicorn color like I can't explain it to you well enough but I think it's so pretty but I never literally never wear it so um I need to wear that one and then outrageous metallic taupe I wanted this so badly and went on a wild goose chase for it and now I never wear it but that one's gorgeous as well it's really pigmented and shiny metallic oh my gosh they're gorgeous like you look at these two they really do look like a bruise um but those outrageous metallic colors are gorgeous there you can see them nicely okay so that those are those then I have just a few left including some duos so this is the Ulta shadow in rose dusk and this is something I was obsessed with a few years ago but um haven't worn it recently but it is really really pretty it's like this peachy satin shade it's gorgeous and I always always forget about it so I really need to wear this because I know that it would be gorgeous and that is why I need to do this these videos because I don't remember all the amazing stuff that I have and I just need to remember it okay and then I have three duos this one I love this is the Lorac duo in tease me and this is the perfect duo for summertime it's seriously so beautiful and oh so pigmented and smooth I just love that blue color it's so unique it's like it's like a light blue but it has like it literally looks like the ocean and then this looks like the sun it is amazing but I only wear this in the summer so um I always keep this this is something Sam sent me and I love it um but I only wear it in the summer so Okay, this one is a Laura Mercier duo in Plum Spice, and I've had this for years, um, and I used to wear it a ton, but now I never wear it. So this one I'm tempted to downsize just because I never, ever use it, 
Um, and the colors are nice, but it's not like I'm whoa in love with them or something. Um, so they're just like two matte satin colors. Just perfect for blending. I used to use this all the time for blending. Um, and it's just hard for me to get rid of stuff that I've had for a long time. Um, same with the next duo that I have, NARS Rated R. This is obviously an insane color combination. I can't even believe I ever chose this for myself. Um, I chose this in high school. And this is this is actually one of NARS's best sellers, according to NARS, which I find very hard to believe. But... Um, I literally, literally never wear this. I have to force myself to wear it, but since it's like one of my first makeup purchases, I don't want to get rid of it. Like, it makes me feel sick just thinking about getting rid of this, um, but I feel like I should. I don't know what to do about either of these, so I need to think about them. I probably won't get rid of them, but um, just knowing what I have and knowing I like to keep this NARS one because if I want to do like a fun look I know that I have these two colors I know that's silly um but I would never buy these colors again so since I have them I kind of want to keep them I don't know so those were um all of my like normal shadows now I'm going to show you my Firene loose shadows and my L'Oreal infallibles all right, so here are all my Firene loose eyeshadows and then my L'Oreal Infallibles. These are ones that I really love, but I need to remember to use more. Like, they're so gorgeous, but I just need to look at them again and see what I have. So this is Iced Latte from the L'Oreal Infallibles, and these are like a pressed pigment, which I'm sure you guys all know. And this one I got for Christmas, like last year. Um, inspired by Sam. She told me that I had to get this and I really do love it but I just never wear these colors. Oh my gosh you can see all my veins it's so gross. Um, but it's hard for you to see it on my wrist because I have such pale skin. Um, but it is really really pretty but I never wear it. It's awful. Like I just don't wear these super light colors a lot but I do love it and I wouldn't get rid of it because I just love it so much though it is very reminiscent of the Urban Decay. So, do I really need both? I don't know. They're actually kind of different. Let me swatch this one next to it. The Urban Decay has more of a peachy tone, and then the um, Infallible is more like, like kind of a white, white cream. So, I don't know. I like both of them. Okay, this one... I go back and forth on this one all the time. This is called Gilded Envy. And while I like this one, I never use it. And look, it's kind of like really, it's not packed as nicely as most of the other infallibles. But then when I swatch it, it's so beautiful, I can't say no. So this one I need to do a look with it. And if I like it, I'll keep it. But if not, I'll get rid of it. Um... So I need to set that aside to make sure I try out and see what I think of it. Okay, bronzed taupe. This used to be one of my favorites, but now I never, ever, ever, ever reach for it. And this is like one of the cult favorites of these L'Oreal Infallibles. And look how nice that is. Oh, it's so smooth and so nice, but I literally never wear it. And it makes me like sick that I never wear this color but I don't know I'm just like not into it anymore so I might actually get rid of that which I know is crazy because it used to be one of my favorites but um I'm gonna add it to my I'm not sure pile okay this one I'm also not sure about this is liquid diamond it is so freaking pretty and so unique it's like a lilac silver periwinkle color um, but again, I never, ever wear it. But look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I need to, same with the Gilded Envy, I need to try it out and see if I like it on my eyes. Because it's so pretty and in theory, I'm like, I need to keep it, but I don't know if I actually like it on myself. This is my all-time favorite infallible gleaming bronze, and I believe Sam gave this to me. This is the perfect, if you like the um, 
nail polish. What is it even called? That olive green one from Butter London, Wallace. This is the eyeshadow shadow equivalent of it. It is the most gorgeous olive green you will ever find. It is so stunning and you would never think with the name Gleaming Bronze and how it looks in the pot that it would be an olive green, but it's seriously the prettiest olive green ever. So I would never get rid of this. It is perfect. And when I was obsessed with olive green eyeshadow, I wore this like every single day. This one Sam also sent me. It's called Purple Obsession. I never really wear this, but I love how it looks. Like it is so, so stunning. It's just like a gorgeous purple color, as you would assume. And again, great pigmentation as with all of these infallibles. But um, this one's a really specific color, so I would definitely keep it because I really love purples, but I just don't wear it a lot. Um, but I, yeah, I just, so the only two that I know for sure I'm keeping are the Gleaming Bronze and Purple Obsession. So I guess I'll keep Ice Latte. Okay, let's keep Ice Latte. I need to see looks I can make with the Gilded Envy and Liquid um, Diamond. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to pass on bronze tote, but look at how pretty, whoa, as I drop it, look how pretty that is. Oh my god, it's killing me. Okay, those are all question marks. All right, my Fear and A eyeshadows. I love all of these, and um, I just need to rem remember what colors these are, because I honestly forget all the time. So this one is called Sacred, and Fear and A is like an indie brand for eyeshadow, or like for makeup, and it's all like really good quality. So this is Sacred. Oh gosh, I can't even really see what this color looks like, and I'm like dipping my finger in. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this color. On my wrist, it doesn't look great. Let's see if I can put it somewhere else. Ooh, there it looks pretty. It's like a golden color. I am really bad at swatching things today. Okay, that's really pretty. On my wrist, it just looked like a bruise. Um, but that is really pretty. And with these, I just always forget what ones I have. Dinosaur plushie is one that I basically only wore for the Lady Gaga concert. Um, it's very, very sparkly. Like, it's literally just, like, sparkles. I hope you can see it, yeah. Which is really pretty and perfect for, like, certain occasions. So I'm going to keep that one. And I know that it's not one that I reach for a lot, but I really like it when I have it. Okay, then I have several blacks that have different color sparkle in them. These are really awesome, but do I need all these? No. So I have Immortality, which has rainbow glitters in it. And I don't even know how I'm going to show you this properly. Um, maybe you can see there. So that is Immortality. Here it is in the container. Gorgeous, right? Oh my god, it's stunning. Then we have Bastet, which is a black with gold. And it just looks like fool's gold or something. It's amazing. So all of these I'm so obsessed with, but I never reach for them. Basta is more of a rich, deep black than Immortality, as you can see. So right now I'm digging Basta more than Immortality. Then we have Biker Chic, which is a black base with blue. Oh my gosh, all these are gorgeous. And how I like to apply them is get a liner brush wet and then um, apply these like a liquid liner or like a gel liner. Oh 
You can see how gross my hands are from swatching. Oh my gosh, this one's gorgeous too. This one, the blue, isn't showing up as much. Um, so I'll need to try that one out on the eye and see if it shows up more when I wet my brush. So that'll be an experiment. And then Kuroko, Kuroniko, I never know how to say that. This one has silver sparkles with a black base. Oh my gosh, these are all so beautiful. I can't get rid of any of them. So there is Kronika. So these are all them next to each other. So we have Immortality, um, Bastet, Biker Chic, and Kronika. Honestly, I like Biker Chic the best, which is the one with the gold. Oh my gosh, but they're all so beautiful. So I think I would get rid of Immortality and what was this one? Biker Chic. So I think I'm going to get rid of those just because I really like um, the gold and the silver a lot more. So okay. I finally can make a decision. Good job, Megan. Okay, so there are two less eyeshadows that I have now. Okay. And then the last three are Knickers in a Twist, which I love that name. And this is like a dark brown. Oh my gosh, I haven't used this in so long. And this one's more like a satin. It's very pretty. I just don't reach for these a lot, so I need to remind myself what I have. Agenda is really pretty for like a cool tone look. This one is also like a matte satin, and it's it's really pretty. It reminds me of Toughest Taupe color tattoo. So that one is nice, and there's not a lot in here. These are the eyeshadow minis. Um, so these are like $2 or something. It's great. And then my all-time favorite is called Koala. And it's not only my favorite because that's my favorite animal, because but because it is the most gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I need to wear this more. I hope you can see the gorgeousness. Oh my god. I need to wear it like every single day. It's so freaking pretty. So that was awesome to be reminded of these. But if I really do want to downsize, I would say I would keep Koala. Niggers in a Twist. Mm, Agenda is really pretty for a crease color. I really do like that. One, What one was it? Sacred. Ooh, that's that gold up there. I really like that. Dinosaur. Okay, so I'm keeping all of them except for Immortality and Biker Chic. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna give these to my college roommate, Chloe. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, these Infallibles. These are killing me. Um, I'm just gonna pass these. Oh gosh, there goes Bronze Taupe. I'm gonna pass those three on. And Ice Latte. No, I'm gonna keep Ice Latte for now. And let's see. I'm going to keep rated R from NARS, and then this I'm going to pass on to Chloe as well. So um, I'm just going to pass this handful of stuff on to Chloe um, for her to play with, and I just really like giving Chloe stuff now because she's like just now experimenting with makeup and stuff, so all these things that I like have used a little bit and like don't really use anymore, I really like to give to her because I know that she'll like play with it. And that's like, I really love to give stuff to people that I know will have fun with it and try out new things. So Chloe, you're gonna be getting some stuff from me while I'm doing this declutter, remembering what I own series. So those are my single eyeshadows and some duos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was kind of long, but um, I have a lot of crap. So. I'm going to clean up my swatches 
all over my body. And um, then we'll get into my eyeshadow palettes. So see you soon.